now for an edition of Drew Ross's Tea Time Tales. As I enjoy my long Chinese tea, I've been reading an epic poem by a Tudor England poet named Edmund Spencer. His epic poem is called The Fairy Queen, spelt F-A-E-R-I-E. And for an example of the archaic poetry of this poem, I have extracted a section of the text for your enjoyment, which I will now proceedingly read. Who, as they now approached nigh at hand, deeming them doughty as they did appear, they sent that squire afore to understand what mote they be, who, viewing them more near, returned ready news that those same we are, two of the proudest knights in fairy lawn. Those two ladies, their two lovers dear. Courageous Campbell and stout Triamond, With Canacy and Cambine linked in lovely bond. While lone as antique stories tellin' us, these, Those two were foes the felonest on ground, And battle made the dreadest dangerous that ever shrilling trumpet did resound, though now their acts be nowhere to be found. As that renowned poet them compiled with warlike numbers and heroic sound, Dan Chaucer, well of English undefiled, on fame's eternal beadroll worthy to be filed. But wicked time that all good thoughts doth waste, And works of noblest wits to naught outwear, That famous monument hath quite defaced, And robbed the world of treasure endless dear. The which moat have enriched all us here. O cursed eld! the canker worm of writs how may these rhymes so rude as doth appear hope to endure sith works of heavenly wits are quite devoured and brought to naught by little bits if you understood that you're on the plane of the fairy queen